All right, so today I just thought we would try a little experiment. <laughs> I've always found it funny in here how we can have these multiple emulators running in VR. So I thought we would push that to the limit. Like, what if we had, like, PlayStation and Saturn and N64 all going at the same time? How would it handle that? Well, let's find out. Shit, let's get the video going, too. Play that just for the hell of it. And then on this one, we'll do the N64, I think. Pilot Wings is in there, and that's fine. So grab the cords, and pop them in there. Turn that on. Hook the PlayStation up here. Come out of here. Yeah, come out of here. Okay. That into there. Oh, sorry. There. Go. I got a bunch more PS1 games, so um, we'll pull Resident Evil out of there and. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Let's uh, grab a. Uh, try Crash Bandicoot. So on this one, we'll hook up the Sega Saturn. Um, yeah, Sega Saturn is not modeled either. And I've only got one game for the Sega Saturn, and that is um, uh, Virtual Cop. Oh, fuck. I, gotta... <laughs> I don't want to reach around to the back of the TV, so it's good. I can just grab that there. If you let go of an AV cable, it will just completely disappear. And if it's one that's running behind a TV, well, now you got to go grab it. <laughs> oh, that's not working. So it's just because there's not a game in it. Oh, yeah, there's not a game in it. Duh. For a second, I was like, can we not run PlayStation and Saturn at the same time? No, there just wasn't a game in it. Let's see how this goes. So what's Crash Bandicoot have for an attract mode? Yeah, it looks like it's going to do something. I don't know about Virtual Cop. Oh, it does. Come on, seriously, we're running N64, PlayStation, and Saturn at the same time, and it's running fine. Are you freaking kidding me? What? Do we seriously gotta get more going? Uh, let's throw... Just throw another one of these on the floor. At the N64, or sorry, the Super Nintendo. Not that Super Nintendo is going to push it too much more, but you got to remember it's also running the CRT filters on here, and like just running those CRT filters um, on a Super Nintendo emulator or something—it's not exactly trivial. Seriously, still still running fine. A video, an N64 emulator, a Super Nintendo emulator, a PlayStation emulator, and a Sega set. I remember when just using a PlayStation emulator or just using an N64 emulator was taxing enough on your PC. <laughs> you know, wasn't that long ago in the grand scheme of things, was it? I guess we gotta get another PlayStation. Can we run two PlayStation emulators at the same time? Okay, we got N64, Super Nintendo. 
two fucking PlayStations <laughs> and a Sega Saturn. And it's still running fine. Come on! You gotta remember, just running this VR program in 3D is my PC doing most of the work. We're also recording this video. The video from the game and the video from the microphone. Uh, the sound from the microphone on my headset is all being recorded in OBS. It's not like I have a standalone, you know, capture device that's doing it in hardware. We're using OBS and we're just using my CPU <laughs> to do the encoding. Might as well get the Genesis going. Not that that's, again, going to be too much of a thing, but... Nope. <laughs> I like that up on an angle there, like that. <laughs> Still running fine. Holy shit. I'd love to see my freaking CPU usage right now. Seriously. Do we gotta get another PlayStation going? All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do Game Boy, too, I guess. I don't have any PS2 ROMs in the folder for this program. Now, what game do we throw in this one? Ace Combat 2, I guess. Ooh. Probably have an attract mode in that. Three PlayStations going. <laughs> Three PlayStations going, plus the Saturn. Plus an N64. What do we gotta do? We gotta do another N64? We gotta do another N64? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And for this we'll grab uh, Mario 64, or Mario Kart, we'll grab Mario Kart. Whoops, I just hit my monitor. In real life there. Okay, seriously. Two N64s, three PlayStations, a Sega Saturn, that video file. And it's still running fine? What in the holy hell? <laughs> now we haven't got an NES running. Again, I know it's not much to run an NES, but let's grab another TV. Put it on top of this one, and we'll, we'll grab another NES, and we'll grab uh, this Super Mario Brothers. We'll do. And, uh, now I gotta grab the TVs in the, in the back of that one. And then I'll grab the NES, turn that on. Okay. Move this into. Oh, God. Put that on top of there. Ah. <laughs>
throw that down there. Oh, nice. Perfect. All right. Fix that. Stand right here. Come on. An, S an NES. An SNES. An N64. Wait, two N64s. <laughs> Pilot Wings and Mario Kart. Two PlayStations. Wait, two PlayStations or three? Crash, Spyro, and Ace Combat. Yeah, three PlayStations. Pilot wings over there. <laughs> it's still running perfectly fine. That's the fucking craziest thing ever. This is re this is just ridiculous. Let's load another Super Nintendo up. I guess on top of this one. Get another TV, another small one. That on top of there. We'll grab the Super Famicom. We'll grab Star Fox. And again, I have to grab the TV. Good thing it weighs nothing. And That just turned off. That Super Nintendo just turned off. It just turned off again. So have we found some limit? Have we found some kind of limit here? What if we turn off this PlayStation, and then we turn this Super Nintendo on, and now I'm assuming that Super Nintendo won't turn off, but when we turn on the PlayStation, it will probably turn off. So we're running, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're running nine emulators right now, plus the video. And when we try to do a tenth, emulator yep that one turned off so 10 emulators is the limit there you go 10 emulators but it's still running fine it's not like it's getting choppy my video like the the VR isn't getting choppy None of the games are running choppy. You know, look at Spyro. It's running perfectly smooth. <laughs> That's amazing. Again, I remember when just trying to run a Sega Saturn emulator on a PC would, would push your whole PC to the, to the limit. <laughs> An N64 emulator would push your whole PC. I guess what I was thinking was, okay, let's turn off the place, let's grab another NES, let's turn that NES on, let's turn this off, and try another NES instead. Grab the... Can I get him? Can I get him? Wait. Okay, let's see if that turns off. Yeah, okay. 
So with two NESs instead of a PlayStation and an NES, it still turned off at 10. So it's perhaps not any sort of a CPU limitation. It may just be an, a limitation in this program. All right. Well, that was fun. See you guys later. <laughs>